Sad day. Very, very sad day, bro. And, you know, I was listening to the the Dragon Ball Z Kai theme, and I was like, there's no other perfect music to be playing right now in the moment of this tragedy, bro. Seriously. Um, Chris is going to join me soon. I don't know what he's doing. But... Ah, bro, man. Like, what can I say? I don't know what to say. I, I really don't know how to process this shit, bro. Because, listen, I don't even, bro, I don't even, I don't tear up for celebrities, bro. I don't. But when I woke up this morning and I saw the news, I'm not going to lie, bro. That shit, it, it, I was tearing up a little bit, honestly. It's, it's that deep. I was listening to this break. It was hitting. Yo, I'm tough, bro. Everyone is like, <laughs> have any of you ever gone through this where you've never actually felt emotional about a celebrity's death? But when it when it was Kira Toriyama, this is a whole different story. Oh my god, this this is terrible, bro. My own family member died. I didn't shed a tear. Toriyama leaving has me bawling. Yo, I mean that explains everything, bro. This is um, this is probably the worst death in pop culture in a long fucking time. 
I don't know if you guys uh, watched Tyrone Magnus's video on this, but he basically he was like, he was like a Kira Toriyama is basically the Michael Jackson of anime, bro. And I'm like, yo, okay, yeah, he's on that level. I can see it. You go on Twitter, bro. You can see it. You see clear as day how fucking popular this man was for for what he did. This shit is actually insane, man. Kobe, I cried for four days. Akira is huge, but for me, Kobe was huge in my life more so. Yeah, I don't know, man, but you know, it's it's you can see clearly, bro. This is affecting a lot of people. Like, I, I I didn't even have a um. If, if you're new to the the channel or the streams, we basically do streams every Friday. I didn't really have anything planned. I was just planning to do reactions to whatever you guys wanted us to react to. But this happened and it's like, fuck, okay, tribute stream, fuck everything else. This is that important. This man is literally the reason we are on stream today. The reason we are doing YouTube today. And that's not an exaggeration, bro. You can, you can ask Chris, bro, me and him literally little kids on the floor in front of a tv watching dragon ball z on tsunami that's literally how far back this goes the first anime we've ever watched the only reason we have this channel right now period um and i, I obviously it's like that for a lot of people um but yeah it's just uh it's yeah, definitely a side day for anime fans man real g no longer with us um a real og of anime bro the, honestly the, the saddest part about this is that he was still doing shit like he was still working on shit as we spoke you know we were waiting so long for super to come back the, bro think about that bro we still haven't even got super back the creator dies yeah i mean but he still went on with the manga you know like the manga continued it even did. though like i don't even know if it was i know it's not his art anymore but yeah it wasn't just so it still, it still was it his story it still was his story though like he definitely had his hand in it <clears throat> no i'm pretty sure it was still like his like actual writing of his story like yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah, he, yeah. they just did the art but um bro yeah um nonetheless he did leave a lot of content behind but it is sad because he was still you know he was ongoing in his work he wasn't done you know so we bro, we do, just, do we know what the cause of death was yeah i got the article right here uh, we can read it right now um but yeah this is uh, uh right now i for this stream I, we're kind of just winging it but i thought maybe we could do some reaction videos and just go down memory lane with some dragon ball content if you guys want to recommend some clips some of the best dragon ball clips feel free to leave it in our discord discord link is in the description but um uh yeah toyotaro was toriyama's apprentice yeah so toyotaro i know he took over the art and stuff um and i guess he has some some uh say in the the storyline as well i don't know but um yeah i think he does he uh he definitely will be continuing uh toriyama's work because he no, he i i feel like he was the best in embodying like the artwork of uh toriyama. wasn't he a fan yeah, he he was a fan, bro, and he did, he got hired. I I I don't know the story that much, but I, I do. Yeah, know he definitely was a fan, though. I remember that. I heard something about that as well. That he was like a, a fan, like he had fan art, and yeah. they, they contact him, and he actually became one of their. Uh, yeah, people. bro, we we talked about it when we were reacting to Super. I remember, like, that goes way back. Um, but yeah, Dragon Ball has been one of the most influential anime films of all time. Uh, uh, heavy Heart, that we announced the passing of its creator Akira Toriyama. Aside from creating Son Goku and the countless characters of the Shonen series, Toriyama also had a hand in creating the likes of Chrono Trigger. Bro, I forgot that he made those games too. That's actually crazy. Yeah, well, there was other... I, I think that was the name of his uh, manga before even Dragon Ball Dragon Quest type shit. Like, no, no, didn't no, he have, a, like didn't the, he have no. a show? So Dragon Quest was like a video game series that he made the art for. It was mm -hmm. like on the, the, the NES, Nintendo Entertainment System. In the 80s oh, okay. so that's like in dragon quest the, the series has gone on all the way back from the nes days and it's still going today um god 
I'm trying to look for the clothes. Yo, bro, on, you on know what's thing. crazy, bro? The fact that this is, has happened, bro, with um whatever Dragon Ball Super or Dragon Ball Gen in general is coming back with that whole little spinoff series that they got going on or whatever it is, yeah. they better make that shit hit so hard in tribute for a Toriyama, bro. Yo. Like, that work right there better be some tribute work. I was going to say that we just reacted not too long ago, bro. Not too long ago. We reacted to the trailer for Dragon Ball Daima. It was not even that long ago, bro. That's what's, that's what's tripping me up about this. RP's in the chat for our boy, man. Like, that shit is crazy. Um, But, uh, yo, I was saying it on Twitter. I'll say it again. You you guys better show out for Donma, man. I swear to God. This is like... Oh, man. It, it just it just hits home for me, the fact that it is like, Kid yeah. Goku. Kid, we're listen, back listen. to Kid Goku, right? And we're going on the old school adventures again. Yeah, honestly, I'm. I have a lot of high hopes for that show, even though a lot of people like shit people on it, whatever, on it. Yeah, you know. Yeah, that's, but that's at the end of the day, I still have some high hopes for it, and I, I really hope that people get behind it. You know, even if it is just in support of his death, or not in support of his death, but you know, in, in support, in, of, in support his of his his legacy and a tribute and a tribute for him, for people to really tune in and like, bro, that's all I'm saying, man. Just put some respect on the man. It was literally one of our first reaction series on here too. Like we uh, Melee literally told me in Discord, this is how I found you guys through Dragon Ball Super reactions. Yeah. A right, lot of yeah, people. Jonathan, found we us. were just talking about that a little earlier, maybe before you came in, how he wasn't done with his work, you know. He was ongoing with a lot of the things he was doing. So it's he was really working on, sad. He was also working on Sandland. Sandland What the hell uh, is Sandland? It was a new franchise he made. I think it's it was getting a movie and also a video game, like open world video game. Damn, we're it's gonna have to so... we're gonna have to pay tribute to all his shit. Yeah, literally, bro. Like we I, gotta watch all his shit now. Yeah. I don't think we can even put the shit on the poll, man. Honestly, but I, I don't know. What you trying to say? This shit goes on top of the list? Hell yeah! Damn, <laughs> fuck that, bro. We might have to do a marathon <laughs> Yo, for fucking Toriyama. That bro. poll I just put up on Patreon, we scrapping that whole shit. It's like nah. Um, but yeah, man. Like, listen, bro. We gotta grieve through laughter. Honestly, like this is fucked up, man. Um. Uh, but yeah. Oh, sorry, I was looking for the death. I got distracted again. Are there? Yeah, we <laughs> haven't. You haven't even death. said the cause of death. Oh. We need a healthy Do end to Dragon Ball and a proper tribute to this man, who, in the words <laughs> of Musashi Kishimoto, was the god of manga. Kishimoto, creator of Naruto. Yeah. I was I was gonna bring this up too, bro. There are so many mentions on Twitter from the goats. The Damn, big bro, that three. shit just makes me emotional, it bro. It does. That's what like, I'm saying. Like just to Wait. see all the the Hold top on, contenders of manga giving respect to this man, saying that yo, this man actually was our competition. If anything, <laughs> like no, he, he was, was our inspiration. He was our, yeah, he was our inspiration. That not even competition. Yeah. It's the reason some of these other shows exist. Yeah, bro, the, hold on. I'm going to find the quote because it was crazy what Kishimoto said back in 2004 about Kira Toriyama, bro. Let me see, man. Let me um, stupid. Wasn't there an interview of him? I think I liked it or maybe I retweeted it. I can't remember. Um, <laughs> yeah, you know, VChan will always bring it back that Goku versus Jiren skit. He said that Goku versus Jiren skit is different now. <laughs> yeah, we can, we can react to that shit too. Just go back down memory lane. Like literally, bro. We freaking... uh. Here it was. So, boom. This was a quote. This is like Kishimoto 2004, like original Naruto days when it was when it was coming out. He was he said, Son Goku from Dragon Ball is the ultimate Shonen Jump model that made me think, now this is a main character. <laughs> Yo, this motherfucker said, this is a main character. He put respect on his name. He fucking knew this is what he wanted for Naruto, right? I wanted a character like Goku in my manga. It's that clear and simple mindset that makes readers feel, I feel great. I feel like a lot of anime characters today, the whole like just goofy side of a uh, main character comes from all inspired Goku. by Goku. Literally yeah. all inspired by Goku. Asta like, but, inspired by Goku. Okay, yeah, yeah. Naruto but, but, inspired by Goku. Yeah, but 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 bro, who came first? Go Goku or Luffy, man. Goku came first, bro. What you mean? Oh, okay. Of course. Oh, then, then you want me to it. okay? Uh, let's let's bring up I Oda's. Know. I was just asking, bro. Let's, I didn't know. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm gonna educate you. Let's bring up Oda's comment on 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 the Kira Toriyama also, bro. 
Because Oda you, Kishimoto and Toriyama were all friends, and both Oda and Kishimoto yeah. remember watching the show and reading the manga as kids growing up. Literally. So they met like when they started their series and shit, you know, when they got into the industry. But um, they probably, yo, they probably were all kids, right? Uh, writing manga, reading each other's shit, be like, yo, that shit's gonna make it right there. <laughs> like, like that's, that's probably how it was for my Like, I mean, honestly. I, and then they, they, and then, you know, uh, Toriyama probably was the first one to make it out of them, you know, type shit. <laughs> What do you mean? Oh, they were they were friends as kids. Are, there's an age gap between them, aren't they? Like, bro, uh, Kira Toriyama was 68. He's an old man now. Well, I mean, I, maybe he um, means like in like, you know, in the. But anyways, this this was the quote from Oda. Um, this is just a piece of it, but he said, "I hope that heaven is just as pleasant as the one you envision in your manga series." Sensei, he called him Sensei, bro. Wait, who's saying this? Oda, creator of One Piece. Oh. Uh -huh. Dang. and we're bro it just hits so different and we're watching one piece right now we are on episode 116 this man, that's such a hard line to say it too. is like to you know because of his work and what he's like seeing like what, what he portrayed one piece as the afterworld bro one piece is so good man seeing him say that about kira Toriyama just hits different man that shit hits so hard man like fuck me Somebody's asking about poll results, man. We talk about Kiriyama right now, man. We'll show the poll Kira results Toriyama, later, bro. Yeah, I mean, but yo, uh, but uh, I'm pretty sure Kevin posted it in Discord, anyways. But um, yeah. You know, what, let me. Um, open, but let yeah, me open there's been some screen. talk about the poll being scrapped in this uh the stream. I don't know, man. Bro, I was, I was just joking. <laughs> Johnny talking crazy, yo. <laughs> Stupid. I, I just, I, I definitely want to react to like Sandman and all these other you know, uh, series that he left behind for us, basically, right before it, he, he's he gone. No, I definitely do want to do that too, bro, because, like, honestly, I, I really would want to dive deeper into Toriyama's earlier work, or even, like, just in general, some of his iconic work. Gotta take it back, bro. Rock the Dragon? Come on, man. <laughs> this, he didn't make the song. <laughs> Bro, this is our childhood, bro. And but he didn't make the his song. Work. This is his people. This is his dragon, his fucking drawings, period. Oh, man. I'm the dragon, bitch. Yo, I, this shit is crazy, bro. <laughs> Damn, bro. I always wanted to be a Super Saiyan. As a kid, I thought if I yelled loud enough, made my face red enough, made the veins come out of my fucking head, that I could turn Super Saiyan. It never worked, man. You sure? Nah. Uh, like this guy? Yeah, that was me, bro. Bro, to this day, <laughs> bro, to this day, I've been telling my brother, man, I am a Saiyan. Like, I literally been telling him since we were kids, bro. That saying has been in our fucking lives forever because I always develop skill quickly and I always used to be better at Johnny video games. And I was just telling, bro, yo, for some reason, I got the Saiyan blood and you didn't. That is a famous, <laughs> that is, bro, that is a famous quote on the Cruise Brothers we have. He said that shit, and it was in one of our compilations. <laughs> Yo, what is he doing? <laughs> Yo, this guy is really going in still, bro. <laughs> bro, on, y do you, on, honestly, can you think about what is in this kid's head right now when he's doing this video? Do you think he's doing it to go viral, or do you think this man really is feeling this shit, bro? He's feeling this shit. This <laughs> Yo, you see how the quality? He did this shit a long time ago. Bro, it's crazy how many people Akira Toriyama touched, bro. He touched all races, bro. He did. <laughs> like, he did, it's bro. insane. <laughs> uh, like, there's motherfuckers bro. in their room trying to become Super Saiyans, bro. <laughs> he's still going, bro. He really thinks he's about to go crazy. Yo, what are, what are his... Does this man live alone? He waited for his parents to go out on vacation to do this video, bro. His parents went on vacation. He said, the perfect time has come. My name is Jalen. <laughs> I'm a super saiyan. Oh, shit. Oh, that shit. I, he I even hit, he video, even hit the line from the fucking show. Oh, my God. I saw that shit on Twitter, bro. 
Oh my god. Oh my fucking mouth hurts. Yo, what the hell wrong with you, man? You've been sucking too much what? Oh shit. Come on, bro. What's happening? Oh my god, bro. What's up? Oh man, I can't even read chat, bro. You know what they're saying. Bro, chat is saying that you're walling. Say nah. <laughs> but um Yeah, everybody's just, you know, giving tribute RP to the goal, you know. Yeah, man. And then talking about everybody try to come in man, at one point in their lives. <laughs> bro, I used to I used so to be weird. into literally drawing like Dragon Ball Z. Oh, like, yo, don't general. even get us started about drawing the shit. We used to draw it like, bro, it's crazy how like kids really just express their creativity through different shit, bro. Because I you literally just used to love drawing Dragon Ball Z, the characters and stuff. Yeah, let's talk about the hood. Okay, because th I think this is very significant because we grew up in the hood. We still living in the hood. Let's be real. And there is nothing that surprises me more than the influence Dragon Ball has had on the hood. <laughs> hey, Back real. in school, listen, bro, everyone you know what's watched Dragon Ball. It yeah, doesn't matter who that's you the were. crazy shit. I remember when like Facebook started becoming a thing, bro, and I would see people post like about like anime and I'm like, yo, what the fuck? We got some low key people talk about anime like i didn't know I, I, all these people from my high school are, are watching anime <laughs> everyone watched dragon ball z bro i had kids in my grade i remember um chris is older than me but uh when in my grade i remember these kids would come to school with drawings of trunks and shit like um Everybody was yo, bro, everybody was competing to see who could draw the best shit. That's what I'm was, that Motherfuckers was out here tracing the shit they're like <laughs> man that shit was traced mad obvious <laughs> Yo, <laughs> everyone would draw Dragon Ball characters, bro. That's such a core memory. I don't know why the fuck it was like that. Hey, but yeah, but seriously, bro, that, that's how that's how Toonami was actually super influential, bro, just in the culture in general for uh the Western culture like type shit. That's literally how I got put onto anime. And yeah, I, I'm yeah. I'm pretty sure a lot of people got put onto anime through that, you know? So for for anime to really make a, a a wave like that in the industry so early like that was a long time ago bro when what what year did tsunami come out bro 2000 what bro i mean if you know the history bro it's the simple fact that dragon ball z was so significant that it was the reason that the west got introduced to anime it literally was the bridge completely we wouldn't have the culture and the community we have over here in the united states if it wasn't for dragon ball just period, bro. That that's not a, an opinion. That is a fact, a hundred percent. Tsunami's huge influence for why DBS got so popular. Yeah, for sure. It's the only fucking reason. That's for real, man. Like Let's honestly, like was was anime even like airing on on TV before Tsunami type no, shit at all? I don't think so. The only I remember, you know, hearing stories about it. Like people would get VHS tapes. That's the only way you would be able to watch anime is like through these tapes that came overseas and. You know that's how people got their anime fix it once toonami started airing this stuff um you know it, it, it was all history from there dragon ball got the ball rolling no pun intended it got the ball rolling and it, it kept going <laughs> yeah this man vchs said i was really tracing dragon ball characters off my tv <laughs> Bro, you that was piece of paper bro. That's when motherfuckers didn't have computers bro that's what you had to do <laughs> I don't, wait how would you get it how would you get the still frame? <laughs> How would you draw the whole thing? And bro, it you can put, you record that shit on VHS, man. Run that <laughs> shit back. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy, bro. <laughs> they already recorded that shit. And they probably had DVDs, man. Come on. They were, we were in the DVD time, too. Yeah. Burning DVDs. Early 2000s. But, yo, um, the, you know, you ever heard of that Bridge series? Like, DBZ? Somebody was talking about it. Yeah, 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 RNG yeah. was talking about it. Uh, Team Four Star, yeah, I've heard of it. That's just apparently, a voiceover. Appar yeah, apparently that was uh, an introduction to Dragon Ball Z for a lot of people. They didn't even watch the show. They watched the Abridged series first. Yeah, because that shit got popular. Show. So popular, had like millions of views type shit. Yeah, I guess they did the characters justice in that shit because uh, people really loved the characters. We actually haven't uh, reacted to DBZ Abridged. That's probably something I've we could it. react to, to on the stream yeah, I've because, seen uh, you know, um, it's kind of like. It, it's funny, reaction. but it's like kind of like outside of our humor a little bit. So that's why. I never yeah, I do. It. I do. I do feel that. I think that's why yeah, I, yeah, I never yeah. like uh, watched it. Yeah. Culturally, it's a little bit different. <laughs> I'm not going to lie.
But, you know, D shout out to DBZA because I know that's the introduction for Dragon Ball for a lot of people. And that's pretty amazing, bro. Um, I, I want to have some music, bro. I'm, try I'm trying to look for, like, the right music to play. Actually, I got some downloaded soundtracks of Dragon Ball. <clears throat> play for you guys real quick. Come on, man. Don't do Dragon Ball dirty like that. Uh, I got everything, bro. On my background. Oh, oh, oh. We, got a, we got a few good ones. Bruce Falconer tracks, mainly. Oh shit! God damn! Yo, nobody made uh like tribute videos on YouTube for Akira Toriyama. I'm sure there is some. We can look some up. React to some stuff. Um, like I said, we're just um chilling, remembering Dragon Ball guys. I what I want to do is react to some clips. So if you guys want to send in some stuff through uh Discord or maybe even the chat, I don't know. Put down the title or something of a clip. I'm trying to watch some old fights, bro. Like, I don't know if YouTube's going to let us get away with it, but. Um, nah, probably not. We can pause it. No, way don't do that. We can pause it, bro. <laughs> I, I don't care if it, if it gets demonetized. I just care if it gets blocked. Honestly. That's so fuck it, then. If we're going to go all out, we might as well go all out. Fuck Watch it. four episodes. Okay. <laughs> I mean, we could. I, fuck, nah, nah, I'm, you, I'm now put, you're wild. Bro, Country World got all of the Dragon Balls. Now nah, you're just walling out. Yo, who's wanna, who wants to watch it with us, bro? Oh, you're stupid as hell. No, I should get a copyright strike, bro. <laughs> I should actually get blocked. <laughs> what is more nostalgic to you guys, Dragon Ball or Pokemon? Those are both big, big. Uh, they're both uh, very. They came at the parts same time. Parts of my childhood, yeah. And on, yeah, they're they're probably both as influential as the other. Well, well, that's the thing. Dragon Ball, even though it was at the same time for us as Pokemon, I think and... Pokemon but it came first for me. Type. No, shit. no, no. It, it it was around the same time for us, but. It actually came out in the 80s. It just came to the West later because we got it later, right? Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Pokemon was introduced to me, I think, first. And uh, it might have, yeah. Wait, that's why I feel like Pokemon might have been on air even before Toonami. Uh, I don't think so. I don't Maybe know. Maybe not. I don't know. Pokemon I remember, I remember yeah, watching yeah, Pokemon, Pokemon was, as a kid, bro. Type it, shit. It was there for sure. But yeah, bro, it's just I, I still can't process this shit, bro. Just knowing the fact that we're never going to get like the same content from the same mind ever again is really fucking sad. It's not be, man. Like, it, it's just never going to be the same again, bro. Unfortunately. I'm for I'm a 90s baby, man. I'm, I'm like I'm 30 right now. Tsunami was 1997. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. That that really that's, sounds like early early time. Cause I do really really remember watching as a kid kid. Oh fuck. Um you know what I do wanna re react to is the Dragon Ball Dama trailer. <sighs> Sorry so loud guys. But this is like oh man. Watching this back now is it's different. The teaser trailer again? Oh shit. Oh, Dragon Ball. Damn, that shit it really does hit different now. It like, does, man. Like seeing this. All his work. This really just shows all his work for real. Well, except for that, but. Hey, man, he had a stand in that too, though. So at the end character. of the day, this is what he had to say. And GT still is influential for Dragon Ball, bro. That was 2015, bro. That's insane. This shit been going on for a minute, Goku bro. Black, like the story of Ultra Goku, bro. This man has been getting stronger for fucking years. Look at all the trials, man. I had, I had this as the last Dragon Ball trailer, bro. It's insane considering it's recapping everything, bro. Daima looks amazing. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm, I'm really hoping for good things from Daima, bro. You know, especially considering the fact that you know Kirtoro is no longer with us. Cause now we need a fucking a beautiful tribute to him. Seriously, yeah. Like it already looks beautiful, to be honest, just from this teaser, bro. But I'm talking about I want to see some crazy stuff, bro, and a good story too. You know, 
like dragon ball i don't i don't really expect crazy things from dragon ball but i do expect some some good stuff you know a story we got a story johnny Dude, there is a story never before told this is like a a filler hove arc and, but this is what he wanted to do yeah and so that's why i'm excited for it so much like this is what akira toriyama wanted to do I feel like Akira Toriyama right now is retelling GT through this uh, through this or, uh, show. Yeah, because maybe, you know what they try to do in GT? Turn yeah. him into a kid and have the little kid thing. He's retelling that story through his own way. Yeah. So. I think I feel like that's what that is, bro. Imagine we see fucking Super Saiyan 4 Goku in this shit. <laughs> Motherfuckers <laughs> will shit their pants. <laughs> I, I hope it's good, man. I do. Yeah, man. He put his heart and soul into this, man. This is, this is, oh, man. This is pure Akira Toriyama right here, what we're seeing in this, what we're going to see in this show. This is what we love about Akira Toriyama. So anybody hitting on this show, shut the dick! Oh, shit. Yeah, that was too much. It's too much. Yo, Bobbity? Ah, uh, I just want to do everything shot. Dragon Ball. Uh, Bro, Tenkaichi Force coming out too. Sparking Zero. My fault. I just want to do everything, bro. I want to play the games now. I want to want to watch the shit. I just want to fucking do Dragon Ball stuff now. This is his way of trolling us and never aging up Goten and Trunks. For real, man. Are we ever going to see them growing up, bro? In Akira Toriyama's vision? Not in the fucking GT version. What the hell they did to Goten and Trunks in there? No. He's gone. <clears throat> That's, Bro, that's, we still, we still, well, actually, still like I don't, yeah, you know, what's crazy. I don't even think in the manga they've, they've, no, uh, they've over. grown up. It's crazy. We'll never know what they will be like, you know? I mean, there's, I'm sure there will be a story told there. Yeah, but it's Toyo not Taro be will do his. it justice, man. Don't worry. It's not going to be his. Toyo man. Taro's his apprentice, bro. He knows everything about him. He knows how his mind works. Oh, fuck. Shake. Shit, yo. <clears throat> and if, and if Dragon Ball ever goes down the drain, then we know who to blame. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on. Oh, V Chip. Okay. Of course. Of course. I should have thought of this earlier. How the fuck can we not react to this beautiful scene? This is an iconic scene right here, man. And Cell was always a cool looking bad guy to me, man. Like, look at this guy's design, bro. He looks like a fucking beetle. Some type of man, insect. The design, man. Let's talk about Gohan. This bro, character. what do you mean, bro? DBC has the best designs. If if, if DBC know, was in the running for character designs today, they still would win over all the other shit, bro. I promise you. That's how cool these motherfuckers are to me, bro. Yeah. They're 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 just timeless. Just iconic. They're man. timeless. Nobody's fucking with the spiky up hair, blonde. You, literally, you want to talk about iconic, bro? It doesn't get more iconic than what Kira Toriyama. Toriyama design. Like, when is it? Uh, yo, no other anime is doing the the transformation with different color hair, bro. Because they're if they, they do that, they automatically get fucking written off as a fucking copy piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's even gonna try to put their stamp on that because they know better, bro. Well, I mean, there has who been, did it? There's been hair transformations. Yeah, but like, yeah, yeah but true, like, true. But not like this. Bro. Not like this. Yeah, it's definitely different. But my point is, you know, when. This shit came out. This was writing that set the the standard. It set the, the 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 foundation for everything that came after it, man. Gohan's story is a perfect. Oh my god! Oh, shit, oh, I don't even. Oh my god! I can't spoil this for you, bro. I know oh, some man. crazy stuff about the story of what's happening in the manga right now, and it is insane, bro. But yo, I I don't want to spoil anything, bro. But it is insane. Please don't spoil me, man. Look, I'm not gonna say any more, bro. Because like, I just remembered something. But anyway, um, you gotta be a this monster is, to spoil something right now. Listen, bro. All, 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 all I'm gonna faster, say, you know? all I'm gonna say is that there, there is a lot of content out there right now that we have that Akira Toriyama left with uh, um, us with for them to adapt to anime. You know, yeah, so yeah. there will be more work of his coming out. Um, you know, until there isn't any more left. But I don't, yeah, I don't know what's going on in the manga at all. So that, yeah. at, le at least I can be grateful for that, bro. Anybody who's still... seen the manga, they know what I'm talking about, yo. Chill. You know, it's still some shit to look forward to. Man, why are you looking like that? Bro? Because this shit crazy, bro. This motherfucker Richard spoiled me, man. Oh my god. You see? 
I that's the worst spoiler, especially after. Listen, I don't care about bro. this. The thing about me is I love Dragon Ball so much. It's the only show that I've gone past the anime and gone into the manga and fucking read into it because that's how much I like the show that I couldn't wait this fucking long for this shit to come back, bro. I needed yeah, to know what happened next. Isn't it sad now knowing that? Well, that's the thing. I don't know the rest of the story. That's why I'm not going to spoil it for okay. I stopped. Yeah. I stopped reading it. But then more. fucking Richard comes and tells me some crazy shit. And I was like, Fuck! Anyway, yo, let's get never, let's never, watch this, yo. Never have a Richard in your friend group, guys. <laughs> Just cut that motherfucker off immediately. <laughs> I know up to a certain point of the manga V Champ, but then like I stopped reading it. Let's rewind this shit, bro. But I know there's some crazy shit going on right now. This is the mo yo, when I remember watching the Frieza arc, bro. I I gravitated towards Gohan because when I was watching it, I was like young as hell too. I was like a little ass kid. And it's seeing Gohan. Gohan was always my favorite character, bro. Yeah, bro. He and was this always... moment was he the was... peak of his character development. Everything he went through on, on Namek during bro, the Android listen, bro, saga. Just, just remember what we saw in, in the movie, in that uh, Gohan movie. Let me just tell you right now that that movie is canon. That movie is canon. <laughs> Yo, that music is just crazy, bro. What the fuck? Ah! This is not even the best part of the song. Just wait. Remember, he powers up for mad long. <laughs> Yo, and I remember distinctly, I was always love watching Vegeta's reaction because this motherfucker was always so salty about everyone else getting stronger. See him uh, react to Gohan? Everybody was stronger than everyone. <laughs> that shit was just so hard. He saw him as a brat in the fucking Dambic arc. You know? But listen, man, Vegeta was the strongest on planet Earth at one point. When they came <laughs> back point. in that when they came back in that moment, he was the strongest. For a little bit. <laughs> Until fucking Goku and Gohan came back, he was the strongest. <laughs> that, bro, he wasn't even strong enough to fucking beat the androids. <laughs> he was stronger than like Android 16 and then No, boom. he was winning, bro. What do you mean? Though he he let go he let Cell go into his perfect form. That's the oh, only you're reason. Talking he about that part. Yeah, okay. bro. When no. Gohan when when Vegeta and Trunks came back, um yeah, 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 yeah. Trunks thought he was stronger than Vegeta, but he fucked up with his transformation yeah. shit, like putting yeah. too much power into it. And Vegeta was actually the strongest. I was thinking about the point where he was fighting Android 16. and Dr. I know everything Jiro. about he, Dragon Ball. He was fighting Dr. Jiro and he revealed he was a Super Saiyan for the first time. He was like, I'm stronger than Goku now. Fuck you guys. But then in that moment, Piccolo became stronger <laughs> because he fused with Kami. Bro was so mad. He just could never win, man. Do you guys think Dragon Ball is a good anime story and plot wise overall? Or is it just carried by nostalgia? Does it compare to One Piece, for example? Um... I think that there there is a lot of good things to pull from the story, which in the um, in the sense of like there's a lot of I I guess tropes that anime does till this day that come from this show type shit. You know what I mean? So if people are copying this show even to today. It had to do something right. Yeah, exactly. There, obviously, we can't deny there's nostalgia, but ob mm -hmm. objectively, from all the anime we watched and from how many times we had to be objective about how we fall about anime because you know we do not lie on this channel even re-watching dragon ball today objectively i can pull some amazing writing out of this show yeah for sure the bro. foreshadowing of the first super saiyan in the namic <clears throat> uh namic arc the yeah. character the development of gohan in this arc in the cell arc it has its no, plot the, holes. Yeah, it's it not has, perfect bro yeah it's not perfect but it does have a lot of good stuff to pull from and it's um, trailblazing and and one of the main things about Dragon Ball that I think is so important that makes it such a good show that it's kind of like um it, it's not really anything that you have to really think about deeper meaning things and and a lot of anime nowadays has those type of uh like plot lines and stuff and shit, like yeah. uh m m more uh deeper meanings and stuff like that this is more like a surface level anime where you can enjoy it even if you're a first time anime viewer type shit so this is why i think this is uh the anime that really pulled in a lot of viewers from different uh like uh, genres or fan bases and shit you know because it was so like 
uh, easy Dif to like or easy to understand or different, really cool. Different at the same races, time. different cultures, different backgrounds. Everyone gravitated to this fucking show, man. Um, it, it became popular, amazingly popular, and it set the stage for other anime to become just as popular. Um, oh man, this is definitely so. Uh, yeah, like I said, there's so many good things about Dragon Ball character wise character writing um lore the fucking lore goes deep like so yeah how uh, much do you I, want? I, I, i'm assuming Kalido <laughs> Kalido was asking that question because earlier um he or she asked um if he should he's never seen dragon ball to this day so should he watch it oh and, yeah definitely and uh yeah honestly i think it's worth a watch for sure There's like i think i think i it, think even you know? if i saw dragon ball nowadays after seeing some of the more complex anime out there i still would enjoy watching that that anime so yeah even if it's not a, my first time anime watch i think it still uh deserves a watch i think it's still in the top category as one of the best animes in my opinion um but that's just me you know because yeah. i got nostalgia for it you know it's funny because people say that goku uh, was a bland character and he didn't have character development but um and you'll notice this watching this shit from beginning to end. And I've watched Dragon Ball from beginning to end a lot of times afterwards, after we weren't kids no more. And I was like a teenager, right? No, yeah, and of course. I've, I've seen it I've, I've mad times. I've like, watched it a lot of times. We watching this shit, you will notice little things like when Goku was a kid in the original Dragon Ball series, he wanted to kill someone as a kid. He wanted to literally kill someone. And I forget who it was, Ader, you know, Ader, Android 8? That old ass android from the Dragon Ball series, he stopped them. He told them, "Bro, if you kill this guy, you'll be no better than him." It's literally so amazing to see that scene and compare it with the nom dynamic arc finale, and how Goku spares Frieza's fucking life. That even goes deeper if you think about it, because it not, not only is uh the scene of him talking to android about him telling him not to kill the person it's it's a it's a android connecting with a non-human well, type no, shit we're like yo if you go deeper into it bro that we shit already pop. know that shit they got androids fucking krillin over here like but no but you, exa <laughs> exactly bro like the androids right go watch that say oh man just they're, know they're one with us man they're real people <laughs> anyways yeah but that hey was, you see that was a defining and that and that also Goku, bro but I just not to call y'all, but that's that's funny that the that happens to Android 18 as well. You know, with her becoming human by a wish, and she was an android before, so that's crazy too. <laughs> but I don't think the wish actually made her. No, human. yeah, no, no, she she's was still human. an android, bro. How the fuck she had a kid if she was an android? She still had her reproductive organs, bro. Such a dumbass up. I'm the, ask them, bro. They know more than me. Nah, I'm pretty me. sure that they wished her to be human or something like that, bro. The dragon couldn't do it, or, or maybe, oh, maybe, no, 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 look, maybe. Oh, no, look, I, I don't. I forgot. Yeah, I'll okay, tell you. You, I'll, you got you it. Listen to me. I'll just tell well, you. Well, say it then. He Krillin wished for the androids to be human. The dragon said he couldn't do it. You know, it was out of his power. He, he then asked them to remove the bombs that were placed in them by Doctor Jiro. They had bombs in them, um, and that's yeah, how Android okay. sixteen came, or nineteen. I forgot the one with the red hair. But that's how he went out. He self-destructed on, on Cell here in this moment. That's when he died. This is when Gohan. And let's segue back to the clip. You like that segue? Real. This is it. Gohan's releasing his energy. Go, go this is Akira Toriyama's work right here, guys. If you're not familiar with Dragon Ball, you're gonna learn today. This is an iconic scene. Don't worry, we'll educate you real quick. <laughs> That's it, huh? Like even the voice lines are fucking hard in the dub for this shit, bro. Yeah, yeah. Mistake trucks did. People, boy, boy. <laughs> like this voice shit, lines yeah. are hard. People sleep on the dub. Like look, look at everything that you're seeing right now. The visuals, the music, Here it is. the voice lines, and then the music. Like bro. I sound like a dick rider, but this shit is hot. <laughs> I am a dick rider, a proud dick rider. People would definitely get pleasantly surprised watching Dragon Ball, man. You wouldn't think this show will really get, bring you on the journey that it does. And if you want a fucking show that has power scaling and power systems, this is perfect! <laughs> Relax. <laughs> I am a Saiyan! 
He runs through my blood. I love this part, bro. I love this part. <laughs> Look at his fucking face. <laughs> yeah, he's like, what the fuck? That shit was, a, that was so good. Nobody could believe this shit. The good or the good, a bad side. Except Goku, bro. He's the only one. Woo. Oh my god. Oh my, yo. <sighs> just, yo. Uh, not that, not that. I can't say anything without spoiling, bro. That's it. Just hurry up, bro. Because I just remember saying, oh, shit. Bro, what Chris is thinking, man. Bro, because that fucking scene is iconic for uh, for many reasons, bro. Many reasons. Well, you're just joining. What if I told you they tied something in what's happening now to what's happening there? Stop it, bro. Just stop it. <laughs> If you're just joining, Chris is talking about the super manga, which he got spoiled on, apparently. But nonetheless, uh, we're definitely excited for more of the manga material that was left behind by Akira Toriyama, bro. Um, and it's going to be a special a special reaction series for us, for, for sure. Emotional, even. Like, honestly, um, bro, um, damn, they've, they've already redone Dragon Ball, right? Like, Dragon Ball Kai or whatever it is called, right? Yeah, they did that. Like, I'd say that shit needs another one, man. Yeah, you know what? Another remake for Dragon Ball uh, Petition now, bro. For real. Well, Dragon Ball Kai still... Or Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Kai still looked like... Dragon Ball Z Kai. It still looked like the original, but upscaled, you know. Yeah, HD. a little bit upscaled, or, but like, it I'm talking like about 20. a whole... I want a whole remake, yo. But if, if that were ever happen, bro, that's literally years in the future, bro. That's something they'll do, like, when they remake... They always pull old content that is legendary, bro, to make it renew it. But we won't see that for a couple years. If if I ever have kids in the future, bro, and that shit comes out, I'm okay. gonna smack my kid and be like, "Do you know who that is?" <laughs> it's funny you say that. I saw a clip on. Uh, we need to make a fucking clip right uh, right now about that. That's a skit, bro. Someone, I, someone made a commercial with them and their kid, and they're looking at Dragon Ball Z to teach it. I'm like, well, I was like, wait, I forgot what they were advertising. Like, <laughs> but yeah, um, this is also very an iconic battle. Damn, bro. Man, it's spoiling all the Dragon Ball people that didn't watch. It's just giving the highlights, man. This is this is a tribute stream. I want to watch. All right, but what about job. his other work that we don't know about? We can't just all give the shine to Dragon Ball, bro. What the fuck happened, man? How did this guy get his start? You don't know nothing about him, bro. Put some respect on this man's legacy. <laughs> Can I go back to watching Dragon Ball? <laughs> See, man, he only cares about Dragon Ball. Listen, man, I'm sure Akira Toriyama made other great works, man, but, like, obviously, this is the one that impacted an <clears throat> entire generation, bro. Um, yeah. And that's... You can't say that about a lot of people. That's Yo, just... Thing. And just look at... So just honestly, just really look at these uh, fight scenes because... Um, uh, Dragon Ball Z really isn't known for its fight scenes because they have a lot of ha yeah 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 or whatever. It's old school. But at yeah. the end of the day, they still have some good fight choreography. Bro. This is one of them. Yeah, exactly. This, this is, is this was a it. decent fight. They, and certain when when it comes to a main event fight, they always have like a, a cool little fight scene going on because of the martial arts tournament of Dragon Ball. They have that whole like style of martial that. arts. You know, martial arts will always be a thing of this world, bro. Trip. <laughs> Like, look at this shit, yeah. bro. Like, this is not even fucking martial arts. This is some crazy this other type boxing. of fighting. Bro, this is dirty, bro. <laughs> look at Haymaker, bro. This is, they wrestling. Fight, bro. this is wrestling, bro. They got wrestling Yo, in this. I forgot how good this fight was. Seriously, they got wrestling. <laughs> Dude, he can trip the Tiki trip in each other. I'm going to rip them apart. <laughs> these are rivals, bro. If nobody knows, these two are rivals. Damn, nothing was sweet back in the day, bro. Not like today's anime. <laughs> these motherfuckers were really about it. They were not sweet at all. Bro, everybody better raise a glass for this man tonight, man. Look at those steps. I love that little detail, man. Like, really, honestly, just look at this, bro. This shit, honestly, it gets me excited. This shit gets me tingles. Boom, explosion, baby. It gives you tingles? Yeah, what bro, do you mean by that, hot, bro? bro? Honestly, I think I'm gonna have to rewatch this shit. I, I'm literally gonna. But I really it. just want a remake to come out, bro, because this shit looks good, but I want it to look better, bro. <laughs> I, I want that shit to be on. I, the like, Dragon, I personally want, I think that deserves a remake, but it probably won't come out for a minute. Personally, I, I'm good with what we got. Nah, um, fuck that. Because, like, the, the voice acting in the original dub is never gonna be topped. 
Yeah, they, we'll never get the no. original the voice acting. And, we'll never get the original music. Like yeah, this is yeah, gonna yeah. always gonna be a classic for a reason. You know what I mean? Oh my god, stupid blocking, bro! Come See, on, See, man. I told you. To drink for him tonight. I told you we can't put that, man. No, come on, man. We paused it. It should come back in a little. No, oh, man. It's YouTube being stupid, man. Fuck, <clears throat> man. You put that shit too long. I told you not to do it. This is not we're fucking good, kick, good. man. It's not kick. <clears throat> YouTube, come on, man. It's not coming back, bro. It says back. suspend it. Bro. It says temporary block, bro. Stop. I'm looking at it right here. It says stream suspended. For policy violations. <clears throat> Everybody's leaving. And this is still going to be in the bot, I think. Uh, YouTube is so lame, bro. I'm pretty sure it got blocked all the way, man. Can't be <clears throat> playing shit that long. Fuck. See, man, we can't be reacting to that shit live, man. Gotta keep refreshing, bro. See if it comes back. <clears throat> I literally just stopped it too. What the fuck? All right, bro. That shit's suspended all the way, man. I think you have to start a whole new one or it's just over. Oh, we back? Yeah, we back. Yeah. It was good, guys. Yeah, my fucking YouTube's so lame. Sorry for the interruption. Obviously, we can't be playing whole clips like that. We got to be pausing and shit. And honestly, I'm going to use this screen for when we're watching this stuff, the little centered box here. I think that'll be better. <clears throat> but yeah, man. Oh, shit. That fight was so good, bro. Tell me that fight was hot. Y'all saw that shit. Your stream is no longer being blocked due to copyright issues. You should have streamed on Twitch, Johnny. Honestly, it wouldn't have helped. Twitch does the same type of thing. Although they're not as strict, but still. This is our home, bro. YouTube's our home. Um, but yeah, that clip just finished. You know what's crazy? We're watching this clip on YouTube. How the fuck does our stream get blocked? And this is on YouTube. Oh, I guess this is from the official channel. No, no, that's not the official oh, channel. It's still, still, it's still there, like, work. What? They're still streaming their work, bro. Or like the... No, the shit is on YouTube, though. Like, it's posted on YouTube without being blocked, so... The fuck? <clears throat> <clears throat> but um just because it's on youtube man don't mean you can yeah, react yeah. to it we can still react we're just we're gonna be stupid about it man bro we need let me give you a rb champ for that one that was a good recommendation that wasn't even the full fight by the way like they didn't put in the part where vegeto's smacking him up you remember that nah bro you don't know shit about that trust me <laughs> Yeah, what you really know? Yeah, you might have to rewatch it for real, bro. Nah, oh, bro, I know everything about Dragon Ball, bro. Trust me. Like right now, type in Google Google uh, Dragon Ball's uh, quiz and see who wins and fuck? guess the most answers right. What quiz is there? You didn't know about that? No. I do quizzes for fun. <laughs> what? It's like, That's nah. a liar, bro. <laughs> Imagine I'm mad prepared for this shit. <laughs> like I tell him the exact site and I'm like, yo, I know all the answers to these questions. <laughs> Holy shit, bro. Nah, but you should really Google that, though. 
Like a quiz, bro? Yeah, Wait, see, there's one, bro. They they have fan quizzes for everything, man. I know they have one for Harry Potter. Fucking, bro. <laughs> like, random shit like that, bro. <laughs> Ooh, you know what's a good scene? Let's see. Oh, this is a good scene, bro. I was already watching the shit. What the hell are you doing? You want to get fucking blocked again? Check the check the stream. You see the stream? We're good. Did you see? Bro, so you think that's going to stop them? All we got to do is pause, You're man. putting too many clips. If you put more than 30 seconds, it's over. <laughs> telling you, bro. Majin Buu's eaten everyone we care about. Everyone is gone. <clears throat> Even Bulma. <sighs> Come on, man. Look at fucking Vegeta's face. <clears throat> Bro, nobody's trying to see this man squinting. They've become part of Boo. They you better, even you better die. fast forward to the fucking fusion now. I just thought the least we could do. This is the best part. Fuck the fusion. We're thirty seconds in. You don't remember the scene, bro? The show was good. Yeah, of course, bro. Literally, he, he just didn't want to... He didn't want to fucking do it, man. We owe that to our teammates. Our families, Vegeta. Our friends. You know, we could watch the multiverse series that you never saw. What is that? <laughs> it's the fan-made multiverses thing. Did someone type that? No, I, I just remember that. <laughs> I guess. Huh? There's a lot of Dragon Ball fan-made shit. Yeah. And there's actually some really good ones, honestly. I still remember the Yancha manga. Honestly, bro, if somebody knows like a really good fan made Dragon Ball thing, like let us know because I know there's like one that's really well done, made, really well done made, and I forgot who did it. Yeah. <clears throat> I, for, I forget who was the person who made it. Well, it's time we accept we're starting a new race. Let's see, maybe I can find it. Just as strong, just as proud, but not if we're caught up in so much of our old birthrights to see what we have right in front of us we've lost our old race bro nobody knows what this man is talking about bro let's not bro, lose this fast forward to the fusion or nobody cares that shit was iconic that's that speech wasn't even that hard man it was bro what the fuck are you talking yo someone's like yo correct this man bro he's just trying not to get blocked that again. speech was not hard man now he's talking ridiculousness Manja Boo is that dude. That's what I'm trying to tell him, bro. Manja Boo was literally the first villain that these motherfuckers really couldn't take out, bro. He was he was actually stronger than all of them. He was. Oh man. But yeah, that's really lame. Anybody else favorite Dragon Ball fights? My favorite Dragon Ball fight? Hmm. I don't know exactly. I mean, if we're talking modern Dragon Ball, I think I can... <laughs> the movie, the recent movie, the Broly movie, that had to be the best fight in, in the history of Dragon Ball. If we're, if we're going not off based of uh, nostalgia, that shit was amazing. Bro. Wait, what? The Broly movie? <clears throat> oh yeah, Broly Top movie. Fight, you know? Honestly, Broly movie till this day is probably um one of the top anime visually movies ever made. Like the visuals in that movie are unmatched. Like it's actually crazy. Bro, you know we never reacted to that movie, but we watched it in the theaters, bro. And I remember having to look away. I was literally about to have a stroke. Yeah, bro. The I colors... smacked Johnny real quick when he looked away. I said, Are you crazy? The colors were so much, and we were up front too. We were like mad close. That shit, yeah, I'm we, like, we this. literally that, like, that movie was so big to us, bro, that we had to go see it in the theaters, bro. Like, and that's how you know that shit is that serious, man. We skipped out a reaction for real for, with, you, with you guys to watch the shit in the theater. We tried to seek a camera in there, but it ain't work. <laughs> Johnny, they kicked Johnny out. We had to fucking refund his ticket and to um sneak him in through the back. The shit was crazy. <laughs> Come on, bro, that's ancient history. <laughs> But yo, freaking um, yo, you should really watch this fanmate shit. It's uh, just type in Dragon Ball fanmate on YouTube. Man, that shit got bro, nine point nine million views. But did Akira Toriyama make it? I don't think so. Hey man, oh he didn't actually. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess it's a testament to how fucking passionate the fans were. I've never seen so many goddamn fan makes of uh of a show before, except Naruto. 
I think Naruto and Dragon Ball have the most fan made stuff ever when it comes to anime. But yeah, man, freaking. So you uh, also um. By the way, in that freaking that passage you were reading, did they ever say the cause of death in that shit, or did you just never finish reading that shit? Oh yeah, I was about to read it. And then, I knew you, it. You said something else, bro. Man, you didn't. That um, says nothing. It was about uh, it acute subdermal hematoma. Oh shit! I, I don't know what that is. Yeah, that's a uh, fancy technical medical term. Just look it up. See what he got. Ooh. Damn, like that was a shit. brain injury, bro. Where blood collects between the skull and the surface of the brain. Damn, bro. Usually caused by head injury symptoms of a subdermal. Don't include a headache that keeps getting worse. That motherfucker literally, bro. He, he was still working, bro. He was still working. He probably, that he shit. probably was stressing himself, honestly, thinking about it, bro. Because like, if this this caused him headaches, man, he probably was like stressing, making all, doing all this work. That's what I'm saying, bro. That's why you really gotta take care of your health, guys. This work shit sometimes. Honestly, I don't even want to think about what happened behind the scenes, man. But a lot of these anime companies, man, it's they true. be pushing people too much, man. So I wouldn't be surprised if somebody. Nah, fucking... well, when it comes to Kira Toriyama, he must have some privileges, bro. That's a yeah, true. He, he yeah, like it. They, they at the end of the day, it was bro, a health thing, bro. The only reason Dragon Ball came back was because of Kira Toriyama. He made the new shit. They saw they, it didn't work with GT. They were like, okay, we need to learn from our mistakes. We are following everything this man says. Like, that's how it started. So okay. do, 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 do. it's like, but you know, even then someone, even if you're not being pushed to do it, you still might still do it. You know, somebody mentioned that the Dune movie was good. He said they saw it in the theaters. Like you, you still might do it, bro. So because you're that passionate about something. And I imagine that's what happened personally but we should react to some trailers and other things man because yeah, yeah we're yeah. doing other things besides the curator well that, that was the the initial uh idea for the stream if you guys got any recommendations drop it down below but this you know unless you want to see that fan made shit see the family shit what is hey it? man this is too much for you i don't think you're ready bro what is it bro <laughs> okay you know if i see i'm gonna judge it type dragon ball fan made should be like the first shit that pops up bro 9.9 million views is probably gonna be the first thing that pops up uh, well, it's, it's the third one. The third one was the first episode. Dragon Ball Deliverance? Yeah, no. What is this? Anybody bro? know about Deliverance? <laughs> what is this <laughs> shit? <laughs> nah, I'm going to judge it now for real. Bro, look, listen, this is a, uh, a person who did this animation on their own, bro. So on their own. A one-man job. This is a one-man job. So you're saying, like, we can't, you're saying we can't get copyrighted for this? I don't think so. I'm going bro, full if they, bro. If they fucking got, bro, they can't copyright us for this, man. <laughs> Maybe they can, but if they if they do, they probably won't get us for a while. <laughs> we'll dodge them like some fucking ninjas. Come on. <laughs> you're an idiot. But yeah, you see what I mean. Like when it comes to um, Dragon Ball as a franchise, bro. I remember like a lot of fan made stuff. Remember Dragon Ball AF? That was like the first fan made thing I ever learned about. Um. It was like, you know, the manga series. Like you got to support the Patreon, man. The Notorious Luke. So if you I, like it. If I like it, yeah. We're about to see. The like reaction it. YouTubers, you're not allowed to react past the warning mark in the video. The oh, fuck? oh, shit. Chill, 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 y'all. What the fuck you mean? Nah, don't do not do it, bro. Where's the warning mark? To protect the Earth. <laughs> in Goku's absence, it is now up to Gohan and the other fighters to maintain this peace. What the hell's happened? Have gone by Who is that? It's Oob. Who is that, chat? This group approaches. Do you, uh, do you see where it's taking place? This is the end of GT. This happens after GT. Oh hell no! Why is it? Why is it purple? I don't know, yo. <laughs> the the music, yo. This shit got a whole production team behind it, bro. What the fuck? Why does this just sound like a Marvel. <laughs> like this shit actually yeah, looks like a fucking little cartoon show. <laughs> Looking for attention now. You got Yo, Gohan's it. voice. I can assure you that our main objective is not to something. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck is getting your attention? Who the wait, fuck wait, are wait. these hooded people, bro? Where's the warning mark? Cards out on the table. Who are you, and what do you guys want? Our identity doesn't matter. 
Just know that it is it still to bring us to this planet. What did he say? Why are you here? <laughs> Bro, I looked away and I tried to listen to him. He's not from this planet, man. He got an accent. You are perspicious, boy. Well, since we don't have the fuck is perspicious. <laughs> Our planet is in grave danger. We have awakened a being which we thought could be useful for some of our purpose. Unfortunately, we this made is like some oh, fan fiction shit, you know? <laughs> that very being turned out to be an uncontrollable monster and has power way beyond our reach. Damn, bro. Why did you have to awaken such a monster? This is I, I don't know. I don't know that, what they're talking about, but it looked like some ape shit. I just remembered, you know, like I always wanted a Toriyama to do something with the ape concept, you know? I know it was done in GT, but like, you know. Yeah, I mean, like that was that was just a good concept in general, like from GT. That's why some people uh, really like GT because there's some things that they like about it and a lot of things they don't, you yeah. know. But I think that was a good concept, um, that whole thing. And Everything and and, and, and if you ever seen, um, what's that thing called? Dragon Ball Heroes or whatever it is, the, the yeah, spinoff yeah. series that they have, yeah. they tied in all those worlds together in that spinoff series. So that was really cool for them to do. Bro, everything I watch, even if it's fan made, guys, is making me sad now. <laughs> like even like Dragon Ball sad, Heroes bro. is fan made too, bro. Is I think no, it's not fan made, but like I know uh, Toriyama doesn't have anything to do with it though, in the sense of the story. I don't think. Uh yeah. I don't so know. yeah, it, it's pretty out there. We never. But that that's too. another thing that is another series like. That, that's kind of one thing I regret that we never get reacted to the series Heroes. Cause I remember we when started it. Did we, did we, I we think started. we did start it. Yeah, we started, I think. Yeah. And we but never, it, the like, thing continued. is, the episodes were coming out so slow when we started it that we stopped. We were like, you know, this is going to take too long and it's uh, they're, it's not that good type shit, you know? That's the crazy thing about it, bro. Like, we were there for the beginning of that shit. Yeah, I don't know about it, man, but let's see. You might want to fast forward to a fight scene yes, or something. No. We came here to but uh, what about the mark? They said I can't watch past a certain mark. Oh, shit. <laughs> hey, man. Fuck it, man. Where's just, the fight just, just show. I don't know. Wait, where's the mark? God, the Broly. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> Why is he so fucking big? Oh shit, that's Super Saiyan three Broly, bro. <laughs> that's that's a uh, movie Broly, bro. <laughs> he looks so big, bro. Yeah, the old movie version. <laughs> Damn, bro. They got the killing, the killing the voice actors, bro. How many people were involved with this shit, bro? <laughs> what the fuck is happening, bro? Who is that? It's Goku, bro. Why the notorious. The fuck, why does he have Dragon Balls inside of him? I think this is the watermark they talked about, man. <laughs> is it? I don't fucking know. All right, bro. Where's the fight, though? Like, we like we have yeah, future you trunks, go. Yo, Goten. Look. Like, yeah, everybody's here. Oh, wait, no, that's current trunks in court, right? Yeah, like everybody's here. It's GT. Yeah. <laughs> bro, seriously, just fast forward to a fight. I don't know bro. where the fight is. I'm bro, just looking. look through it. There's no just, fight. Just here, wait yo. till somebody starts fighting. Yo, who the fuck is this cooler looking guy, bro? Look at his drip, bro. I, look I'm at his drip. I'm expecting you to tell me. You told me to watch this. I don't know what's happening. But look at his drip, bro. Oh, someone's getting beat up. Gohan, of course. Always getting fucked up, even in fan made shit. Hmm. Okay. Like a demon. <laughs> look at the pa look at the passion the fans got. Oh, seriously. Look man. at the passion, chat. Jesus Dang, you Christ! You see him come out of the Super Saiyan form. Like, can you imagine and, and, and animating you said, this, bro? You said this is one guy, right? I mean, there's obviously a team behind this production because nobody can do this by themselves. But I mean, it is amateur, it, the, but the person doing the animation probably it might be by himself. It's a small team at, at the very least, you know. But that's TNL, the passion, whatever bro. TNL stands for. But yeah, that, you shouldn't put any more because you don't want to get copyrighted. These motherfuckers are going to copyright us? I don't know, man. You never know. They. They made something out of another franchise. You never <laughs> know, man. You us? never know. Say no. I don't know, bro. So you don't yeah. respect them then? I mean, it's all right. Sorry. <laughs> right. Yeah, I mean, yeah, there was nothing crazy. I mean, fuck, they got the numbers to back it up. Nine million? I'm not going to argue with you, I mean, bro. It, it, 
it's uh entertaining enough to watch it and feel like you're watching Dragon Ball because of how they do the storylines and yeah. stuff. It, it really pays homage to Akira Toriyama, and obviously the voice actors are trying to sound like the people from the show. So, at least the English dub, yeah. But yeah, interesting enough, man. You know, there were other uh, a few comments that I forgot. To do you want to look at some trailers for some trending movies or something, man? We got to get back on yeah, our just, movie game, just bro. Get us, get us no, whatever. we need to get back on our movie game, bro. This was a really sad quote from the voice actor Roku too. She said, "Voice actor for who? Goku. Oh, for the Japanese voice actor. The girl. What she said? I I don't want to believe it. My head is empty because I don't want to think about it. Even so, every time I see Goku, I remember what Toriyama Sensei said to me: "You will take care of Goku, won't you?" That's crazy, bro. But, yo, so that bro, that now she she's literally going on in her head like she's she has to." pay homage to like, the voice now man yeah like bro it's one thing for the fans but imagine the people who were around him yo imagine hearing that from Toriyama you will take care of Goku won't you like that's crazy that gives me chills to even think about and I can't even imagine what it's like for, for this woman man I cherish that moment it makes me think I will stay by Goku's side until my strength runs out completely it's just sad bro I don't even want to read the rest of it bro Yeah, so what what the hell is a Dune even about? I have no clue. I heard and, it was all made. That's, that's uh, there's like two parts to this, so like we would have to even watch the first one for that. I think they have a game series for the Dune, don't they, or something like that? I don't know. I'm pretty sure I saw like a game on Game Pass or something called Dune. Series so have just begun a new journey. Yo, the hey, new Mean man. Girls movie came out. Yo, we're watching that. Girls, Bro, the fucking the the original is iconic. Do you understand the original Mean Girls is iconic? Yes, but th that's not a new movie. That's like it is a, a new movie or something. I no, it's not, bro. It's an actual movie, bro. They remade the uh, Mean Girls. It called? It's called Mean Girls, but 2024. <laughs> but I'm not really trying to watch that. I was just kidding. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is a crazy comment too because the Vegeta's voice actor said the series had just begun a new journey. The story was supposed to be more. And more thrilling and exciting there was so much probably planned man and you know um this kind of reminds me of the naruto to boruto situation where kishimoto kind of like left a few seeds for the next guy um and i assume that there's going to be some things left over for the, the the successor to like take from when it comes to akira toriyama's um ideas but yeah, it's crazy quotes all around the board, man. Everyone paying respect out here. It's RP to the GOAT. We'll react to a couple of trailers and then we'll, we'll call it a stream. Don't be stupid, man. If y'all got anything, bro. Mm-mm. <clears throat> All right, uh, just an update for you guys on the poll. If y'all still want to you know, hear about Have you that. seen the new Parasite Live adaptation trailer? No, I haven't. Right, Let's yeah, watch yeah, that. yeah. Because like I said, they already had a movie uh, for a live av um, adaptation for it. And it was really good, like the first part anyway. Oh my God, did they fucking like... Um, I was looking for the poll, hold on. We're at 33 votes. Uh, Fryeran is... How do you say that? Shot? What's, what's, what's winning for the new show? What the hell is it? Fryeran what is that? And uh, Mashal. Oh, well, it's like... um, We've seen the trailer for it. I know. Mash Mashley is uh, popular, but what the hell is Fryeran? Well, there's your two... Most likely the ones that are going to win here. Um, it's hard to beat those guys. Very popular anime, of course, but you know. Um... Yeah, let's just react yeah, why to you him. voted for Oshni Call? Caught him. I mean, they can't see that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it was losing go. already anyway. I was just trying to balance it out. This man's trying to balance the polls, man. With one vote. <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, well, the, also, guys, we what, just what saw we, the we, we saw the Suzume to? uh movie today, which was very good. For you know, sure. that movie won an award in the anime awards for anime film of the year. And we just saw it today, so it was pretty good. If anybody want to see that, 
Oh, there! This is coming out officially on Netflix. This is crazy, bro. That they're actually making a whole remake after the other movie, bro. This is gonna get criticized so hard, bro, because they already have an adaptation to this. And if it's not as good, bro, people are gonna criticize is this. What are you talking about? Yeah, that's the one. Long time. That's the older one, and that one was really good, bro. I saw it. it like it really did a good job of portraying the show, bro. Because I learned shit from watching the adaptation that I didn't really get, you know. Because you, obviously, you see it through a different perspective. Yeah. So it felt really real there. But yeah, uh, Netflix series. Parasite is Parasite. such a perfect show to live action adaptate, bro. How many views has it got? It's just such a cool Ooh, concept. A hefty one mil. That's not bad. One day? When does this come out, bro? Because I'm actually interested to watch well, this. This is a movie right or a show? Well, like I don't get it. I mean, everything Netflix has been doing has been shows. shows yeah, so know? I mean, this, this, this deserves to be a show instead of a movie, in my opinion. I'll just watch it. I've dated. And if it is, bro, that's fucking lit. Oh, shit. It's looking good, Johnny. It's Japanese, too. Oh, yeah, it's looking good, bro. Oh, what the fuck? They're at like a rave? Like, what is this? Is it based on the show and just a different story? The movie, the other movie was based exactly on the show. This might have changed it up a it little bit. It might be bit. a different story, yeah. but based on the same uh, reality. Just a different storytelling, I guess, but this looks even cooler, bro. They're up and up the ante, Johnny. Oh, shit! Oh, fuck. Yeah, this actually looks good. Look at the fucking parasite fights, bro. Those shit's be lit. What the fuck? They got a POV shot? Damn. They really put some money into this shit. Oh, hell no. That shit look crazy, bro. It looks pretty okay. crazy. I'm not gonna lie. Was that the main character? So it's a female now. Like, wait, wait, wait. Go back. Go back. April fifth. No, no. Go back. Go it's back. Coming out soon, bro. I had some some text there that I need to see. Parasite the Gray. So this is this is a different storytelling based on Parasite by Hitoshi. So yeah, this is a different story. This is not about the original character. I assume so because done, we didn't see. Yeah, him. we didn't see him at all in this. Yo, I actually think we should react to the the movies, bro. The other live adaptation, because it's really good, honestly. And it'd be cool to get like a reminder on it before this shit comes out. I don't know, but that's maybe you just watch it on your own time. But that shit is really good. I'm telling you, you should watch it. Oh shit! But yeah, that looked pretty cool, bro. That's actually cool that we're getting like another storytelling. I wonder if this is like outside of the manga, um, you know, storytelling. Probably is. Well. We're gonna wrap it up there, man. Um, what the fuck, man? I was just getting excited about that shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. We gotta wrap it up, you know. Damn. People were here for the Kira uh, tribute. Now we're out. That's so, fucked up, man. But um, yo, rest in peace to a legend, bro. Rest in peace to the goat. Um, yeah. Thank you for all the memories of Kira Toriyama, bro. I, I can't wait to watch what you left behind for us. And shout out to our community and everyone who supported us because of anime. Ooh. Love you guys, man. Um, and we'll catch yeah. you next time, man. Again, man, big respect to the OG. And uh, hope to see some more content from him in the future, man. Can't wait for Daima to come out. We'll see what happens. From who, motherfucker? Toriyama, bro. What you mean? You think he you think just because he's dead, his work doesn't live on, bro? He has, you know how much work he probably already finished type shit that is still ready to yeah. be released? We can at least be grateful for that, bro. We could be grateful for what he finished, man, but because he didn't even finish. Like, that's the thing. So now, whatever ending, Come on. whatever ending comes, you know, that's not going to be official. In my mind, it's not going to be official, bro. Toyotaro, like I said, will do him justice. And if he doesn't, Toyotaro, we know who to blame. That's as official as we can get. Honestly. We know who to blame. You know. <laughs> yeah, Yo, peace but, out, yeah. everybody, man. Everybody have a good night. And as always, thanks for tuning in. Rest, rest easy, guys, man. Never know when your time is. I don't need to leave off on a morbid note, but, you know, tell your peoples you love them, man. We'll catch you guys uh, next week's and next week's stream. Have a good one. Take care, guys. Good night. And...